Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am bringing you the semifinals match of my Nogi Pans competition that I did. So if you like the video and you like the content on the channel, make sure you smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And with all that out of the way, let's get into this video. So what I'm trying to do here is making sure that I stay up on my feet and I want to grip fight. I want to fight for the inside position uh, on my opponent here. He's doing a good job of holding my, my hands. He's like grabbing my fingers, interlacing the fingers so I don't have so I can't get a grip on his forearm or anything like that and what I'm trying to do is take a wrestler's stance once again just to try to get him thinking about me trying to shoot in and what he's going to do he's just going to kind of fight for the head kind of slap my head down a little bit head to head action right there I'm just going to keep a grip of his forearms and I want to keep it on the feet as long as possible so I can try to get my inside leg trip or outside single or one of my takedowns that I like to do so what he's going to try to do here is he's going to push me away and then he's going to grip the back of my head have a grip on my hand I'll let that go and kind of get back into the center he's just pushing my head down for a long time and i'm trying to fight for the inside position just trying to feel him out as well i like to stay on the feet as much as possible when i'm going with a, a new opponent just to feel how they are like you know if they're going to have a strong grip if they're a strong wrestler and right here is pretty evenly matched and right here he goes for that inside leg trip but i'm able to step my right foot out i'm going to square up with him and uh, push his head to the ground but he's going to come up on a single and i know that i'm going over so i take my right arm and i kind of toss his body to the side allowing me to switch my hips put my hands or put my weight in my hands and get into a uh, top position here so i turned his inside side leg trip and then single leg into uh, a takedown for myself and that series of events honestly just comes with muscle memory and timing and just doing the sport for a long time I knew that I was going over and I knew he wanted to take that single leg so I flared my elbow out and turned him to his side so that way when he took me down he would be on his side and I would be easy it would be easy for me to switch my hips and come up on top so that's how I scored my two points and he got the advantage for coming up on the single again points are better than advantages so now that we're in uh, this half guard position i'm going to force him again to play the half guard position just like the in the quarterfinals uh, but he's doing a better job of playing that half guard because he was up on his side more he was more on his side and he was framing with his right arm and what i'm going to start doing now is just weaving in my left arm in between his legs because what i want to do is get into a tripod stance and kind of windshield wiper my leg over over his legs and try to get into a passing position so he starts to go for a half guard position and i'm going to switch to the reverse half guard and i'm going i tried to like lift his legs up so i could uh back step out but he was very crafty and got into the close guard position the referee is going to give me the the green uh ankle bracelet thing because i forgot to put that on before we stepped out on the match so we're gonna reset into the middle and i'm in his close guard position here so I'm in his close guard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two on one grips on his arm and start to stand up and that lets him get into a K guard position and I know that I need to control his uh, outside leg to stop him from getting into the K guard position. Right here he kind of gets me into a K guard X position and I'm able to post on my left knee and kind of let him sh uh, stretch me out just a little bit so I don't go over and uh, now what I'm doing is I'm controlling his far leg to stop him from getting into that X position so he can't set up any back takes or leg lock positions and now I'm in the half guard passing position that I want to be in uh, well not exactly because he's still on his side but that's this is the setup that I like to use to force people to play half guard so I can get into a passing position like in the quarter uh, finals that you saw earlier uh, but he's doing a very good job of trying to play this butterfly position he starts to come up uh, but I have a grip on his left leg and what I'm trying to get him to do here is I'm trying to like make the grip loose you can't really see how strong I'm gripping the leg but it's kind of like loose and 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 freely able to move and what I want him to do is kind of like kick out and try to escape away so I can chase the leg and take the back so I'm not really trying to like grip the leg too terribly hard but then I realize that he's not going to go for that uh, obviously we're, you know we're brown belts he probably won't go for that that move and give up his back so now I start to encroach on on him what I want to do now is kind of just keep him in this half guard position don't let him get up don't let him get away uh, but I'm going to make a mistake here because I'm trying to hold that leg I'm focused solely on that leg and I don't really realize that he's coming up and he's going to push me away right here and I'm starting to fall back on my heels and that's when the scramble happens he comes up on the single I'm able to kick my leg free and then we're going to reset into this uh, standing position so that was very dangerous for me because I was playing on my knees and that's one of the takeaways if you're if you're fighting or trying to pass on your knees make sure the person doesn't tip you backwards over your own base because that's all that's what could have happened here and if he would have got the takedown you know he would have been up so I realized that you know he was kind 
of he kind of caught me off guard there so what i do is i pull into the close guard and i know that a lot of people play close guard very uh lazily it's one of the positions that you learn where you know you use it as a uh, resting position but i always attack from the close guard position uh what you're watching here is i'm keeping his posture broken down i'm uh, climbing my heels up and right here he's going to start to stand i'm going to get my muscle sweep which is one of the sweeps that i like to do all the time from close guard right here i trap the leg and i now i'm going to hip into him and i'm going to take him down and what i try to do is i try to come up but i'm not able to because he's able to frame against my body with his right arm and stop me from getting the muscle sweep so we're going to reset in the center because we were close to the yellow line right there and i'm just going to try to do the same thing like i said i always play a very aggressive close guard position because it's one of the positions that i really really feel dominant in as you can see i'm switching my hips bringing his arm across the center line bringing his posture down right here i'm almost going to get a pendulum sweep but i'm not able to because he frees his arm his right arm to base and in no gi it's a little bit harder to get these types of sweeps than it is in the gi because the gi gives you friction uh, and you're not really worried about people's sweat because you can always grip the gi so this is a little bit more more difficult for me to get these types of sweeps but as long as i'm attacking i I am in a dominant position and I'm already up on point so it's it's mostly him that needs to react to me and not me that needs to react to him so my opponent is going to opt for the combat stance guard break but I'm going to counter that by Gable gripping my hands under his leg and I'm going to start pulling his leg towards my ear and now I'm in this quasi close guard x guard position I've been watching a lot of Tai and Dalpra's x guard master pa master class and uh, I kind of wanted to see what I could get away with here in competition but I'm mostly doing the traditional types of uh, posture breaks I'm bringing the arm across the center line making sure that I'm active keeping him off balance I keep scooping that leg out from under him closing my legs against his back and really making sure that he's focused on uh, keeping his balance instead of trying to pass the guard uh, one of the best ways to pass the closed guard is to stand and if I can keep his posture broken like you're seeing here and keep him keep his leg close to my head I, uh, he's not going to be able to focus on passing the guard right here I almost get a, a tilt sweep and uh, he gets back into the closed guard and I pull his head down and I'm just focusing on keeping his arm across the center line I'm going to grab the back of his tricep right here bring his arm across the center line almost coming up for a back taking position he's able to free that arm like i said there's not that much friction in nogi and i'm just going to keep going for the same thing over and over again keep uh gripping that leg making sure that he can't uh get out of this closed guard position right here he's got double unders but i'm gripping the back of his tricep and i have his leg on my right arm side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my guard and then i'm going to come up and try to get into a sweep position it's not going to be mount because both of his arms are under my legs he's going to be able to switch his hips come back up on top and what I'm going to do here is get both of my legs in and get into a butterfly position and that is going to be the end of the match. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.